Hey everyone, it's Polaris Labor here. Today I'm doing a little series of mine that I just started. It's called Apocalypse Rising. Um, just setting up my character. Hold on. These are the perks. They basically, this one makes you run faster. Um, this one, it takes less minutes for you to like do shit. And this one, you can uh. You regain health when it's below 30%. This one, you're basically like a ninja and they can't spot you. But anyway, let's get on with the game. Alright, spawn. Alright. Well, this is my character for the game. Hope you enjoy. Also, today... I will be playing with my friend Pistol Pat 56. I don't know if you can see the chat or not, but he's saying hi right now. Um well, anyway, let's see. Let's start going. I wonder what we can find here. Hmm. I see a barn house ahead. I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. I think well, for all you that don't know, Apocalypse Rising is basically a zombie survival that you have to, you know, survive the most amount of days and all that. Get items, get backup, fight zombies. So, to start off with the first episode, I think I might be going to look for some safe houses with items. Hmm. Who's that up ahead? I'm going to invite Pistol Pat to the group. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a zombie. There's, as the days go on, they become more and more of them. They're kind of annoying. Just got to shoot them, like, twice, I think, to kill them. Hmm. Let's check these houses out. You gotta be prepared as well. Alright. Hmm. That military clothing, huh? That could actually be useful. Got uh, some other things. Yeah, let's head out. Um, let's check out over here. Hold on, just inviting Pistol Pat to the group so I can find him on the map. Uh. You know, it's basically random items like spread out around the map each game. So you don't know what to expect when you come in these houses. Sometimes there might be zombies, so you gotta be extra cautious. Like here, look, there's ammo. I think for it's, it's for the Murakov. Oh shit, is that? Oh, that's a zombie. Scared the hell out of me. Alright, so yeah, I have a fanny pack. It's basically like a miniature backpack you could put on the front of you to carry some items. Like extra storage, I guess you could say. Hmm. Let's go off into the wilderness a bit. Let's look around, see if we can find anything. Maybe some safe houses with more ammo. Because in this game, it's either ammo or you're dead. Can't run out of ammo. And if you do, you have to find a weapon quick. Because the zombies will come and overcome you really quickly. Um... What's that over there? It looks like an army shed or an army base. Might have some good loot. We got more Murakov ammo. Um, hmm. We're gonna hold on on that. 
let's go check in here. Oh, sweet, a military backpack. That is like, that's like the best backpack in the game. It can hold like the most items. So we're gonna drop this fanny pack because you know, it's kind of noobish. Put this on. Let's see, it's getting dark now, so we gotta be careful. Hmm. What's up here? Mm. Alright, so basically I think I'm going to go out, maybe find another town or two, get some of the loot. Got a collect a lot of items to survive and then once I do that I should be able to go find Pistol Pat he's somewhere else on the map I'm not positive yet where he exactly is just gonna eat regain some strength and drop some items to keep like storage close to empty so I can get like better weapons and stuff yeah at night time more zombies spawn so it like really gets hard at points when you're like especially in the city when we get to the city if we do it's gonna be crawling with zombies so it's gonna be hard but until then we're just gonna search around here hmm what's up here eh I don't know what I can do Honestly, most of the food you find in this game is cheese. It's I don't ask me, I don't know why, but the creator of the game just made it so you could find cheese. It's a lot. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. As long as it fills up your hunger, that's all I care about. Let's see what's down here. Most of the map is basically like wilderness and empty space, so it's gonna take a while to get to like other towns and things. That's what the, that's what's kind of bad about this game. The author or like creator needs to make like more I don't know, cities or something to fill up the spaces. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll stop here for today. Remember to subscribe, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed my uh, intro episode to my series, Apocalypse Rising. And, well, um, we'll continue with the next episode. Until then, see you, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.